everybody this is Nora with NAQ57 and on this video I am going this is going to be the first video of a series of I'm actually going to do just three which means I am going to do four stamping plates at a time from the latest Beauty Big Bang haul and so this first video will be XL059 60, 61, and 62. This is the one with the layering fruits. So I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, I'll show you these really quick. You'll see me peel off the blue protective film off of them, except for this one because there's an image on this one that I've already used. And then we'll do some swatches and I will show you an image. I will go ahead and show you how I, um, an image for inspiration purposes from at least one um, one of one from each plate but then I do one for the layering I will show you the process we'll do some more of a something more, leaning more to as a, as a tutorial as it was requested for their layering plate because I know those could be a little challenging and take a bit, a bit of a learning curve so let's get started Okay guys, so there you saw how well these swatches went. One of my the favorite out of the group is this stamping plate here of the rain. This one's number 59. I just love the fine lines on the images. Look at this window. It's so adorable. And the couples and then the rain, the little key cat in the window. I love this one too with the hummingbird. <clears throat> it's more of a negative space kind of image. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous, very good quality, very good stamping. Here of this varsity play with the letter. This one, I tried to catch this group of images all at once. I love how that one came out, that monogram A. This, these are just kind of random letters there. And the Dougie here is this, your text, so cute. And oh, can miss out the shoe. How adorable. And I was trying to make out the letter, what the words in that. Yeah, there are some words, but I can't make, make sense as far as it being any kind of phrase, anything like that. But I just thought it was super cute that boot right there. And the letters are cool. And then we have this one's number 60. I'm sorry, the varsity one is 61. So I went 59, 60. 61, 62, yeah. So here is the African theme, Egyptian style. I cut off the head of the camel. <laughs> I was trying to catch it when I picked up this image, but super cool. I love the elephant print here and this, the, the elephants, and then the zebra print here. Yeah, it could be tiger. And then I hear, so for, for the layering plate, I went ahead and did the plaids. And remember, these are meant to be 
layered so yeah that's why the pineapple looks like that it's these will make more sense when I do I'm gonna go ahead and do one design with these layer images okay so now I will go ahead and I'm not going to the only one I'm going to take you through the tutorial is the layering plate the others I will just show you photos of the and designs that I did when I took a poll and asked you guys on my whole video which would you prefer it came out kind of half and half more or less up until the point that I uh, that I saw the comments so, so yeah I'll go ahead and continue doing the swatches for future videos now let's go on with the let me go ahead with the tutorial with the layering stamping plate Yeah, so here are the final designs. What do you guys think? Do you have a favorite? Do you have a the favorite plate? Okay, so this one here is from number 59. It's this image right here. I just did a reverse stamping there, coloring it, coloring it in. And this one, I love how that one turned out too. So this one is from XL60. And the image is this one right here. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but I did somewhat of a gradient so that there's more of a gold bronze in the center and more of a, bron a darker brown on the outside. Hopefully none of you can tell. And then with this one is the XL61. I used this image here as the backdrop in black and white and then I did a reverse stamping with this one right here and the last one but not least XL062 with the reverse stamping so I used a very light color used for this plat right here and then I did the pineapple so these images the ones on these sides they pretty much turn out it's like your back well, they will be your background color if you want it to be different or if you notice if it's something that you want a, a different background color to stand out come out through the outline image if you want it to be different than other than your base color okay hopefully that makes sense so you usually go in this order so you saw how I stamp first I gave her I used the I did the plaid then I went with the green then the outline I did it in yellow and then the dots here in black and something else that you could have done here with this particular image I could have gone maybe like the top half in black and the bottom half in yellow or orange or something like that if the image allows for it you can go for it right and then just use multiple colors for stamping the one single image so that is it for this review of these stamping plates guys stay tuned for the other two videos since I'm now I'm gonna go ahead and group these in four if you guys have any questions please leave them below and I'll be happy to answer I would like to thank a big thank to Peter Big Man for sending me these gorgeous stamping plates to play with and review I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and thank you for watching